Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here is the seafood news for the week of July 1, 2013. This week we will follow up our report on Russian pink salmon with a report on Russian sockeye. Russia is one of the world's largest sockeye processing countries, with harvests ranging from 10 to 20 million fish. The 2013 expected harvest is for approximately 10 million fish, 50 to 70 million pounds depending on the size. The majority of early Kamchatka harvested fish are small. 60 to 75 percent of the fish being harvested are between 2 and 4 pounds per fish. Russian sockeye are prized for their high oil content, their brilliant red flesh color, and their abundant supply. Also, Russian fish from certain areas like the Ozernea River carry the MSE certification, which as many of you have come to realize is not the case for the Alaska fish as MSE continues assessment of the fishery. Prices for fish are not set industry-wide as many packers are limited to market access, as not all fish is FDA or EU approved. Processors without FDA or EU registration are forced to market their fish into markets such as China, Thailand, Japan, and Canada. Japan historically sets the benchmark for pricing, keeping prices high when Japanese demand is high and driving prices down when demand is weak. This year has started with early high demand for head-on fish for traditional gift boxes, but has been lukewarm for H&G fish. Head-on fish is processed and frozen at sea from high seas gill net fishing. Despite limited Japanese demand, prices are over $1 US per pound higher than 2012 prices. Shortage of sockeye inventories in North America and very strong prices for the 2013 Alaskan sockeye have strengthened Russian sockeye prices. There is a lot of hesitation on the part of buyers globally as fear of an abrupt downward market shift loom. Buyers fear that once Russia and the US are in full production, the fresh and fillet markets will fill up quickly and put pressure on packers to lower prices to move product. It's anyone's guess whether prices will soften over the short term, but caution is suggested. A quick note out of Alaska, indexes and fish returns have been record-setting highs since the Bristol fishery opened. Concerns are that the fish returns and harvest will be much higher than expected based on early returns. Processors in some areas are reporting mature row, which could indicate an early run versus a very large run. Some processors even speculate the run will diminish and harvest may even fall short of expectations. Again, this is anyone's guess, but we will follow the fishery and report back updates as they happen. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Ken Radcliffe. Buy smart and eat more seafood.